Why do some Jewish men wear head coverings or kippahs? Where does it come from? So the Talmud relates that as a child, astrologers predicted that the great Talmudic sage Rabbi Nachman would grow up to become a thief. His mother would therefore remind him regularly, cover your head so that the awe of heaven will be upon you. And thus wearing a head cover in the Jewish tradition is a reminder, to quote the Mishnah, that there is an eye that sees, an ear that hears, and that all of our deeds are inscribed in the Book of Heaven. Interestingly, many associate the Polish word yarmulke with the Aramaic words yare malka, which translate to mean awe of the king. In fact, the kippah is but one of the many reminders in the Jewish tradition. Another few notable examples that come to mind are tzitzit, mezuzah, tefillin, Shabbat, reading the Torah three times a week, which were each instituted as well-ordered prompts of Judaism's highest principles and ideals. And here we encounter one of Judaism's greatest teachings, namely that it isn't what we believe, but how regularly we are reminded of our beliefs that ultimately determines our behavior and the type of people we become. Interestingly, many recent academic studies illustrate this same important truth. For example, in a study conducted by UCLA professor Dan Ariely, half of the participants were asked to recall the Ten Commandments, while the other half were asked to remember random ten books they had read in high school before taking a quiz. The results overwhelmingly indicated that the mere fact of being reminded of the Ten Commandments reduced the tendency to cheat. Another example out of Harvard Business School found that Christians were 300% more likely to give charitable donations if the appeal was made on a Sunday rather than on any other day of the week. Now, obviously, the participants did not change their minds about the importance of charitable giving between one day and the next. They were simply more likely to have thought about God while attending church on Sunday than on any other day of the week. These findings were actually referred to as the Sunday effect. Similarly, it was found that among Muslims in Morocco, people were more likely to give generously to charity if they lived in a place where they could hear the daily call to prayer from a local minaret. And so, to reiterate, it isn't what we believe, but how regularly we are reminded of our beliefs that transforms our behavior most profoundly. Which is why, perhaps more than any other religion, Judaism inserts choreographed cues into the daily lives of its practitioners so that at every turn they are confronted with signals and symbols to help them recall their most cherished values and to act in accordance with their highest ideals. Click subscribe to see more exclusive content for the most sought-after Jewish speakers, teachers, and thinkers.